Hey friends, welcome back to Automated Notion, where we put our Notion to work for us. One of the most popular questions that I see around the Notion sphere is how to meal plan. How do I build a meal plan database, a recipe database, or grocery database, and connect all three together? Well, we're going to be doing just that today as I walk you through how to build a meal plan dashboard. Let's start our meal plan dashboard off of a blank page and we'll create a full page table. Our new database will be called Grocery and we'll change the name field to Item. I like to create my tags as text property first. Just put a comma behind each word you want to be a tag. Then you can convert this to a select or multi-select property. Next is my recipes database, and I'll be doing this as a full page gallery. Add my breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks tags. I like to have a ratings property. That way I know what my family actually enjoyed. And then later on, I actually create a view that's filtered to three or four star recipes, and I label that as favorites. Then I'll add a URL property so I can have a link back to the original recipe. And also a text property for time. That way I can type in hour or minutes. And our ingredients will be a relation back to our grocery database. Then finally a place to make notes just in case I make any adjustments to this recipe. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you add the Save to Notion extension to your Chrome browser. This will save you so much time when you're saving articles or recipes online. It allows you to connect your database directly to the extension. That way you can fill in all the information that you want directly into your database. If there are parts of the article that you need saved, just highlight that section and right click and then save highlight and it'll save directly to your Notion database. We do have to do some cleaning up once the recipe is saved into our database. Like my ingredients came in as one paragraph, so I'm just gonna turn this into a bullet list. While I'm in here, I'm thinking I want to embed my groceries database within my recipes. That way I can easily just add my ingredients right there into the grocery database and I don't have to actually go out of the recipe. So I've updated my recipe template to include my grocery database and I can either copy and paste the items or just type them in from here. And also I can check them off and add them to my shopping list. And now for our meal plan database, the simplest of them all. I'm just going to create a date property, um, a tag for what day of the week it's been planned for, and then a related link back to the recipe. Now that our databases are done, I'm going to create a toggle and call it Quick Links. I like to hide all my pages under toggles so that things don't look all cluttered up. First, I'll add my meal plan to my dashboard as a Kanban board using my days of the weeks as my columns. And then I'll filter this so that it only shows the meals that I have planned for today and within the next week. Next, I wanna see my grocery list for the week. So I'll link it to the grocery database and create a view for my shopping list. And then finally, I like to have my recipes as a gallery underneath and you can filter that however you want. I like to filter mine for favorites. So now that we have all of our databases on our dashboard, it's time to make it look pretty. So this is what my final dashboard looks like. I have a custom meal planning cover. I have a few covers for my meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you see I have my shopping list and my recipes. And I've also added a mobile shopping list, which is just a grocery list view. I do encourage you to build your own meal plan dashboard, but I also have a template available in the link in the description. I also have a premium version that includes over 100 plus grocery items. So you can start meal planning today. If you do try this out, please let us know below how it worked out. If you have any tips or adjustments that you've made, let us know that too. 
If you found this helpful, please give us a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Until next time, happy building and mission.